Welcome to our guide on how to get good at Symmetra. Many guides have already been made on this hero. Here's a few of them. However I doubt any of them have played Symmetra for more than a couple hours. In this video however, you'll be learning from one of the 7 Symmetra mains to have ever lived. Let's get started. For the first 6 months, since the launch of Overwatch Symmetra was considered a troll pick and a garbage tier hero. Even though when the game was released, she was both the least picked and had the highest overall win rate. But I'll tell you the one secret that true Symmetra mains don't want you to know. We want to be underestimated. We want you to view us as an awful situational support hero that can't heal. We want to appear less threatening than a crippled rabbit with one leg. We want you to ignore the fact that we can move our entire team across the map in a matter of seconds or increase our team's collective health pool by 450 HP. Symmetra's damage potential is even more concerning. When her left click charges up completely, it does 120 damage per second. That's just as much as a fucking Genji ultimate, but with more range. Many would say that playing Symmetra takes no skill, and that she should be nerfed. However if you let a Symmetra get close enough to kill you with her microwave on steroids, then you either weren't paying attention, or were simply outplayed. The easy way to kill her is to just keep your fucking distance, and treat a one on one fight, as if you're keeping a magic at arm's length. As Symmetra, winning fights is simply a matter of picking your battles. As a general rule, you should focus on taking out supports, and staying the fuck away from tanks when at all possible. Those fat fucks, will take you out 9 times out of 10, unless you've got a shit ton of turrets backing you up. You should also be able to fuck up most DPS heroes, if your own damage dealers aren't pulling their fucking weight. Easy. Symmetra's right click is equally as dangerous. These slow moving balls of death seem to attract more scrubs than Hanzo attracts players who try to aim using a trackpad. Simply spamming this shit down a choke point will charge your ultimate faster than people who tell you to switch to a real healer at the start of the round. But as you can see, within 13 seconds your ultimate will already be charged and ready to teleport your ungrateful Genji after they try to 1v1. 4 tanks at once. Excellent. Symmetra's Photon Barrier is also a powerful ability. Treat this ability like a get out of jail free card, if any overconfident scrubs think they can kill you. This thing can protect you from anything, that might ruin your day. But perhaps the best part of this ability, is being able to get revenge on D.Va for fucking up so many of your ultimates. You can finally show, that Mountain Dew and Dorito little shit how it feels. Perfect. Symmetra's Shield Generator Ultimate is an extremely powerful tool to always give your team the edge. The range on this thing, is 50 fucking meters in every direction. Use this clip for reference. Hide this shit on your back lines, and never worry about it again. Easy. As much as I'd like to defend Symmetra in every way I can, there's no doubt, that the quality of her plays of the game are about on the same level as Torbjorn and Bastion. Meanwhile the Anna on your team, has put an ulting McCree to sleep, healed 3 tanks to full health and Nano boosted a Reaper who went on to get 4 kills. After this they then jumped up in the air, and did a 360 no scope on a tracer across the map, before spraying the nearest wall with the sorry spray, all in the span of 6 and a half seconds. But I guess these plays are deemed more important. Symmetra mains are often criticized for simply being very lucky, when they manage to win. However many of them simply embrace the bullshit, that a Symmetra playstyle allows. A good Symmetra accepts, that playing in a traditional manner will never allow them the win. They understand that cheesy tactics and ideas, that make Grandmaster players uneasy are just ways, to catch the enemy team by surprise. The mentality of a good Symmetra should be, to attempt the stupidest things imaginable, then rely on the will of the bullshit gods, to carry them to victory. A Symmetra must ask themselves, will my team hate me for this? If the answer is yes, then it's probably a good thing to do. However if I'm going to get criticized for this video, it's going to be for this clip. I can't wait for the wow such skill comments, or the you'd never be able to do this on X console comments. Or simply 600 people asking what the song at the start was. Fantastic. This concludes today's guide on how to get good at Symmetra. Using your newfound knowledge you can now piss off everyone in competitive solo queue by picking her exclusively on attack and king of the hill maps. 
subscribe if you want more videos that are incomprehensible to your grandparents. But until then, have fun, and enjoy your stay in Elohel.